Today on Treasure Hunting America, we'll travel to the Mojave Desert to prospect for gold with Pat Keen of Keen Engineering. You know, they say only 10% of all the gold has ever been found. Sometimes when you find something, there's no bigger thrill or a better high than catching something that wouldn't have been yours, but you found it and it's a treasure and it is yours. And we'll visit with Steve Johnson, who's only been hunting with a detector for two years, yet has found more gold than many old timers. It's sort of like a drug. I mean, once you, once you find one, the, your next phase is I need a bigger one. And then after that, you're not satisfied, so you need to find a bigger one. All coming up on Treasure Hunting America. Hello and welcome to another episode of Treasure Hunting America. I'm your host, Mark Hendricks. Pat Keene comes from a long line of treasure hunters, including his grandfather, who started Keene Engineering, a manufacturer of gold prospecting equipment. Pat hunts all over Southern California, and his favorite place to hunt for gold is in the Mojave Desert. I got started in prospecting because my family was manufacturing equipment and my family's been doing this type of thing for three or four generations and I've always loved the outdoors and I've always loved to go camping so it's kind of a natural to find something to do while you're out there having fun but I've been detecting since I was probably five years old and I really enjoy doing it and over the years I've found some treasure I found a lot of neat old antiques it's really exciting when you dig something up you never know what you're quite finding until you actually unearth it and see it. And then sometimes it's even figuring out exactly what you're finding. Besides the metal detecting, I also do a lot of uh, dry washing. That's where we're digging off material off the side of the canyon walls and, and throwing it into a concentrator which shakes and separates the gold out. And also down in the streams and gullies and rivers, we're in some cases we're actually diving in eight to 10 feet of water, sucking up material and uh, having the dredge concentrate it in what's called a sluice box. And it's just uh, a great thrill at the end to uh, pan out the concentrates and see that glitter of gold and uh, have a good time while you're doing it. We're up at the Red Chispa mining claim right now. And this claim belongs to Prospectors Club of Southern California. And this has been a real good spot for us to dig up here. And if you look up on the hillside up here, you see a lot of old compacted riverbed material. And this is where an ancient riverbed once existed. And when all these mountains were thrusted up, it brought up all this riverbed material. And you can see you have two different types. You have the red dirt over on your right hand side, and that's all part of a old volcanic mud flow. And over here to the left, you see uh, what's called an old ancient riverbed, a tertiary channel which is quite old. And all this stuff has been uplifted and a lot of people have found a lot of gold up here, metal detecting and also dry washing. Uh, we use a lot of the metal detectors to find the locations and find a lot of the big nuggets. Uh, but a lot of the real small stuff that we can't detect with the detectors, uh, we can shovel into the dry washers and collect a lot of the finer gold. And what we like doing up here is we dig into the hillside till we hit the bedrock and all the riverbed channel that's sitting on top of the bedrock. It's super concentrated, and we find our gold sitting right on top of a caliche clay layer that once rested upon the bedrock. We're picking in this hillside here, and we're trying to loosen a lot of these bigger rocks out so we can make some bigger holes. Uh, we think there's good gold all through these layers, so what we're doing is we're breaking it down into rubble down below, and we're shoveling it in the dry washers, getting close enough to the bedrock so then we can take the metal detectors in and detect right on top of the bedrock and we'll see what we find. What we're trying to do is break some of these big rocks out of here and we know there's good gold right underneath the rocks. So if we can loosen these big rocks and get them out of the way then we can get to the bedrock where we can detect. Yeah, we come up here about once a month every fourth weekend of the month and we go prospecting 
And I think a little later, my friend's going to show you close to a pound of gold that he found up in these hills up here. And uh, not more than uh, 150 feet away, my friend found a three and a half ounce nugget. And imagine to find something like that to take home to show to your friends. It's pretty exciting. When we return, Pat Keen will show us how to find gold with a dry washer. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting America. Pat Keen uses all methods available to hunt for gold, not only metal detectors, but also equipment that he designs and manufactures. What you're looking at here, this is called a dry washer, which is basically a machine for concentrating dry material, which consists of a screen hopper up on top that screens all the smaller material and all this classified material that's half inch and minus drops into what's called a concentrator tray. As the material drops down into the box here, as the board's vibrating, the gold gets trapped in behind these riffles here. And all the way down, you have these riffles. But when the air is going and you have a lot of vibration, it actually puts even this size rock into like a type of suspension, where it's actually riding on a cushion of air. Below the riffles, there's like a cloth board. And as the air passes through it, it creates like an air cushion, and if you have a nice level uh, layer of material over here, it just kind of floats and separates out the light material from the heavies. All the gold gets caught right behind the riffles. We're going to pan out some of this in a few minutes and see if we found any gold in there, but I think first we're going to run a little bit more material. What we're doing is we're panning some of the concentrates from the dry washer. And this material is real muddy, and lots of times there's clay clumps, so we got to make sure we break it up real good. Little tiny clay balls contain some good gold sometimes. Well, we're getting right down to the black sands and the gold. If